Hi YouTube. Um, I was pleasantly surprised this morning when I woke up and um, checked uh, uh, in the fish room that uh, my Calipanchex uh, oxidentilis melee uh, have hatched and I'm really happy about these uh, these guys. I believe there are, uh, this was the first time uh, or the first uh, attempt at hatching these eggs. They have an extremely long um, incubation period, uh, four to five months. Um, and I've been trying to get the species for quite some time and uh, a friend of mine in uh, China, Mr. or Dr. Ren Sho Chen, uh, sent me these eggs a couple of months ago and um, well I purchased the eggs a couple of months ago so um, and I'm really ecstatic about the fact that on the first hatching I did get seven fry now they're in here but I'm not sure whether I can get a a view of them or not but um, they're really quite large I mean I you know I'm really uh, impressed that they uh, are that large because of their eggs were not so at any rate um, the other thing I wanted to show you is how I go about hatching the eggs if you notice I have a net in the net I have the peat moss what I do is I put the peat moss in the little uh, net um, and as the eggs hatch the fish swim out so the mesh is big enough for the fish to swim out but it does contain the peat so it's easier for me and to uh, simply lift the uh, container with the peat in it so that I can redry the peat for the eggs that didn't hatch and this method works pretty well for me so basically uh, you know, if you are, if you don't get enough fry and you know there are more eggs in here that have yet to develop, uh, the easiest way I found to do it after many, many uh, attempts at trying to scoop the fry out and all of that, I simply put the peat in the net and uh, wait 24 hours and the fry that are going to hatch are going to hatch at that point. Believe me, it, you know, if they haven't hatched in 24 hours, anything you get after that will be a what they call a belly slider and a belly slider is simply a fish that the uh, air bladder hasn't sufficiently developed so they can't lift themselves off the bottom of the uh, hatching container and they eventually die some live a little longer but they eventually will die so what I do is of course I redry the the, uh, the peat and um, Usually, sometimes you'll get a lot of hatchings after the first hatch. Sometimes you'll get one or two. Some people get quite a few hatchings. Uh, in the case of Calipanchex, since uh, the eggs were laid over a period of time, uh, I fully expect to uh, get uh, multiple hatches. But I am really happy about this species and uh, I look forward to showing you guys, as you can see by the picture, these guys are absolutely outstanding. They get about four inches. Um, they're very pugnacious. They are very carnivorous towards each other, even at this size. Uh, so you have to give them plenty of room to, uh, you know, escape either one of their siblings from eating them. Because they really, truly are a very pugnacious species. And they're also very um, uh, rare in the hobby. Um, I was fortunate to get the eggs because um, I had talked to Mr. Uh, Dr. Chen several times and he listed them uh, on the auction site and they were going uh, way too expensive for me. And I thought these were too expensive, but you know, rather than miss them again, I went ahead and bid on them and I was fortunate to get them. Um, they have a, a about a four or five month incubation period as I stated and they grow very quickly they are annual species so they grow very quickly and they do require a rather large aquarium um, eventually I will probably put these in a uh, at least a, a 40 gallon aquarium because um, the sheer size of them and they are very pugnacious towards each other males are very territorial so 
I want you guys to follow along as these little guys uh, develop into the magnificent fish that uh, you see in the picture. Um, so stay tuned. Thanks.